Many parents are dealing with dailies. I know we are kids and screen time. Yeah, well, I met with one couple who during the pandemic turned an idea into a business that aims to get kids outside and it's now expanding to Nashville. Even on a dreary afternoon, there's still time to play inside a fort. This is where I like to hang out and build Legos. Legos. Um, yeah, there's white. I did like create this like a couple of days ago. There is a lot of creativity that occurs back there. This place for fun and imagination was made by a company called Firefly Forts based in Atlanta that started out of an idea during the pandemic. And I think it was a moment of realization that um, screens had definitely been a big part of the kids' lives and I want to get them back outside to kind of how I grew up. Yeah, when he built that first tree fort, we had no intention of it being a business. Now, what once started out as something special for Mike and Kristen Scaglione's kids has become a full-fledged business, getting requests from outside of Georgia. And so we tried to travel and that was too much on us. We have young kids. So we decided to start franchising. This is where Keith Madden comes in, the new franchise owner of Firefly Forts Nashville. And I thought, this is exactly what I want to be doing next. But while this may just seem like a business venture, it's much bigger than that. And I remember, you know, building this treehouse and telling my wife that, you know, somebody else's hands were guiding me while I was building this treehouse. And it, because it turned out <laughs> probably way better than it should. Mike is facing a stage four lung cancer diagnosis. This company that creates memories for families ended up creating connections with the families themselves. And come to find out, some of these people have played a huge role in my cancer diagnosis, not only from a support standpoint, but actually one of the families we built for ended up being my neurosurgeon. It's a blessing that we found someone that believes in our brand and what we're doing that can run it up there so we can kind of take a step back and focus on his health and our family right now. It, it's like it was meant to be. This is our slide. We like to slide down it. It's pretty fast. No matter where this journey takes them, the Scaglionis are creating a legacy of helping families and kids have moments just like this one. And not only do they have a franchise here, but also in Miami, Florida. And the, I was talking to the family that I was at shooting mm -hmm. that fort, and they were talking about they use it for movie nights, and they uh, go up there yeah. and they like kind of use a projector to hit the garage that they mm -hmm. have. And they've really tried to find ways to use it together because that's one thing is they want these to kind of grow with families. So mm -hmm. parents use them for things. Yeah. Kids give it as a place to be. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, it was it was really good to meet them and just kind of seeing the opportunity that people can have in customizing their own kind of getting outside. Yeah. And how, how smart to franchise this out too here in Nashville. Mm -hmm. They're based in Atlanta, right? Yeah. And then they've got one in Miami as well. But yeah, it's certainly a commitment. But I mean, you could see multi-use and, and much bigger than like even the place that we have for the kids out back. I mean, that, those things look awesome. Yeah. Well, and they were talking about how it wanted to get back to like Mike wanted to get back to his ch childhood for his kids. Yeah. So, you know, you get being outside and everything because yeah. it's so much less common now to be out doing imagination stuff inside the fort. I, I love how too he admitted he's like, wait a second, this turned out way better yeah, than yeah, I yeah. thought. <laughs> he was building his first one and then committed yeah, to no, it. Yeah, no, they all look great. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, wishing him well.